Welcome back on The Walking Dead. And finally, Man, we shot the, the woman. Ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. <laughs> this isn't what Terry. Oh, what the hell? Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody, then. Why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Um. Yeah. We have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground. Pretty nice weather in the background. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir crazy when their tummy's empty. Ah, uh, no. Freeze myself. And and Lee? Don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. <laughs> I hope so. Go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. <laughs> Hot global time. Let's go to her. If you can do it, give it. Yeah, you know. Give a cap back. <coughs> it's pretty easier with the Xbox controller. A lot easier. Open the barn door. Come on, Lee. You're a strong man, I think. <coughs> and drink something. <sighs> yeah. That's good. Wow. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. <laughs> you can pet her. It's okay, go ahead. Come on, don't be shy. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's that? What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. What? Okay. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. <laughs> um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Nice. Thanks. Yep. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. <laughs> Stupid boy. Like duty. <laughs> Kids. What? It's probably miss. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. And now give the cap. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. 
Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. <laughs> That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Yeah, daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Okay, what? Ah, the cow. She looks skinny. Mm, go there. The stall door. I wanna check everything because oh, it looks not safe. Hopefully there isn't any trouble with the window. What's this? It was something with lick, but I don't remember. And the third style door. Ah. Food. Ah, oh, we can do something. Empty. Go back. <coughs> Go back. This. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff, and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, mm. Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? <laughs> You're being stupid now. I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is, we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. <laughs> hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No! Why would you say that? Well, <laughs> you're, you know, urban? What the fuck? You are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Yeah, of course. Uh, maybe it wasn't a good idea to help you with this one guy instead of breaking the padlock we can just take off the assembly have a peek inside and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened all right sounds like you got a plan i'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow andy shit i, th I thought that was danny what i can see something. help you boys find something Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Mm, no problem. Just hey, lie him. Do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, yeah, of I course. need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Andrew? I thought Danny or Kenny. Don't know. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Mm, shut up, Danny. Mm. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Okay. We just look and hopefully we find something. Okay, guys, we have enough time left. <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? <laughs> oh, I, just fine. I know what's going on there. 
I couldn't do it without it. Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for Meryl's, if that becomes a problem. Mm, maybe it <coughs> will help us. And I hope so. Don't walk in the fence, guy. Go on. But we have eggs. So... Picket... Picket fence. Take a toolbox. Nice. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. Yeah, borrow it. And now let's talk with her again. If we can do this. Ah, okay, we can talk with Danny. And let's do this. What's not to like? Just kind of creepy, that's all. Times like these, a 243 will keep you warmer at night than any lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, he's so stupid. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. I'm gonna go wait for something. <laughs> It'll be a good one. I know it's a bit boring this part, but... All um, fixed. That should make everything. <coughs> It has to be, so... And I don't think it's boring, <coughs> but maybe you. I have... Think it's in interesting and... Yeah. We'll, uh... We'll finish talking <laughs> later. You been getting along with Larry? <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh... Don't know if I would have used those words. <laughs> don't judge. Oh God. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. <laughs> I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking okay, about. Okay, but I don't trust you, though. So, what are you doing in the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I don't mean to pry. It's nothing interesting, I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold yeah, their own. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Before she died, we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. It sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out in the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? Means you can't trust them. Any of them. They gotta go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. Okay. What do we have to do now? What's this? Ah, the gas can. 
I know we can do it now. We can open the barn back and yeah. I call it cow shelled because they are cows in and I don't know just Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. I picked up something I think will help with the lock. All right. Okay, let's do it. Hopefully it works. <clears throat> hey, guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Come on, eh. Um... I want to open the stall, and... This episode we're gonna do this. Uh, is there anything? Oh yeah, it's so with Lily. Come on, walk faster, Lily. And talk over Lily first. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? There may be something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. Okay. After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they need to try to hide. Sound of the thunder. You two are just asking for trouble. Background. It's pretty Can interesting. On wandering around. Maybe I'll be scared careful. too. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here. We don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already He's are. That's right. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. I probably do. So, Larry, it uh, looks like you're getting along with Brenda pretty well. You know, for a nice change of pace, how about you try and mind in your own fucking business? <laughs> Oh my god. So racist. Maybe it's something of the generator. We can um trick um in the yard and <coughs> sabotate the generator. Oh yes. That's nice. But it's also dangerous. But now uh, we have a reason why you should come out. Damn, this thing is the worst piece of shit. Something's always tripping the breaker. Oh, come on. Uh, this. Hey! Where is he gone? Where does he go? Is he still? I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. Power switch. Oh yeah. <laughs> Moving fast. <laughs> this multi. Ow, damn it. Thing is oh, come moving on. Fast. There, that 
Let's just do it. And now go in. It's pretty dangerous. Fucking Danny, where do you find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, dog. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever. Okay, now's the chance. And <clears throat> let's look behind the barn. Because oh, we are over time, but I don't give a shit. So come on, let's chill out and. Let's do it now. <sighs> it's a safe point. So, sorry guys, but I would say it's enough at this part because we have a safe point and then down. And I have to go now. So, I'll see you next part of The Walking Dead Episode 2 Stuffed for Help. And, yeah.